My name's Alistair McLean. I'm the Curator of Natural Science for Museum Sheffield and the Manager of Western Park Weather Station. This year is a pretty important year for the weather station. It's our 130th year of recording. The weather station was founded here in 1882. It was founded by a man called Elijah Howarth, who was the curator of Western Park Museum at the time. The town corporation had asked him to found a weather station to inform the local hospitals of what the prevailing weather conditions were like, to help them to predict when diseases such as diarrhoea might occur. The weather station was moved in 1920, and then moved again in 1951 to make way for a conservatory. The weather station's been in the location where it is now ever since then. Let me show you around. So this is our manual rain gauge, and we've had a rain gauge on site pretty much like this one for the last 130 years. Every morning we have to come, take off the funnel, take the bottle out from inside which has been gathering the rainwater, and then pour it into a measuring cylinder just like this one. And that tells us exactly how much rain we've been having in the last 24 hours. So this is our tipping bucket rain gauge, which is the automated version of the rain gauge that I was just talking about. And it works in much the same way, funneling water through this part onto one side or the other of these buckets. And when an appropriate amount of water has fallen onto this side of the bucket, it tips. And then it starts to fall on the other side of the bucket. And same again, when an appropriate amount of rain has fallen, it will tip again. Each time the bucket tips, the computer knows that 0.2 millimetres of rainfall has been recorded. And that's how the system works. Really, really simple, but very, very effective. And this is our instrument enclosure, technically known as a Stevenson screen. Inside here, we have a series of thermometers and temperature sensors. The reason why you have to have them in a static box like this is to keep the sun and, from, and the wind from uh, having an effect on the temperatures. So when you see the temperature forecasts on the weather, they're talking about the temperatures in the shade, or to be more technically accurate, in a box. We've had a Stevenson screen like this on site ever since 1882. And in here we have these two thermometers at the back. This one tells us what the humidity, uh, the amount of water that's in the air. This one tells us what the air temperature is currently doing. This one tells us the maximum temperature in the last 24 hours, and this one, the minimum temperature. But these days, all of our thermometers are in fact backup systems for these guys at the back, which are electronic sensors, and they transfer data directly into the museum. This is the Campbell Stokes sunshine recording device, and it's been up here on the museum roof since the 1890s and it's been changed every day by our front of house staff since then. Works by this glass sphere focusing the rays of the sun onto a specially prepared piece of card at the back and it creates a burn mark so as the sun moves from one side of the sky to the other the burn mark moves from one side of the card to the other and we end up with a trace telling us how much sunshine we've had every day. We've been recording the weather here at Western Park for over 130 years making us one of the longest serving and most important weather stations in the country, if not in the world. Over the last 130 years, we've recorded some pretty extreme weather events, such as the floods of June 2007, or the hottest temperature we've ever recorded, of over 34 degrees in August 1990. One of the advantages of having such a long data set is that we can see how the weather has changed over the last 130 years, which makes us really important for climate studies. If you'd like to receive daily weather updates, you can follow us on Twitter at WPWeather. And with your support, you can help us to continue recording weather for the next 130 years.